Professor Greg Wakobi, stewardship as the Vice Chancellor of the Chukwemeka Odumego Juku University, COOU, March 2018 to December 2023. Universities across the globe are citadels of learning intended to groom high octane leaders of society. The extent to which each university attains this obligation and the duration it takes it to do so are, however, dependent on how well the factors that aggregate and shape in the development potentialities within and around the university are honest. The reality foregrounds the tale of Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku University, COOU, formerly known as Anambra State University. Chukwe Mecca Odumegu Ojuku University was founded in the year 2000. It had an unenviable experience of wasted years of struggle to remain afloat in the charge of its academic duties. This faltering era, however, got broken within the relatively short space of five years running between March 2018 and 2023, Mackin, the tenure of Professor Greg Uwakobi as the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Greg Uwakobi, a highly reputable legal luminary in the academia, has unarguably left positive marks in the annals of the headship of Chukwemeka Odumegu University, Igbariam, Anambra State, Nigeria. Testaments abound as to its multi-dimensional contributions that have favorably positioned the university in the front line of the most sought-after elite universities in Nigeria today. Posterity will surely relish its inspiring leadership record in the university. Uwakobi's phenomenal display of ingenuity and stirring the affairs of Chukwe Mecca or Dumego Juku University soon transformed the university into a preferred institution where the young and old who genuinely hunger for academic excellence and civilized conduct across Nigeria and beyond aspire to attend. His strong determination to put things right in the university became manifest immediately he assumed office as the vice-chancellor. He took a clinical view of the entire structures he met and quickly initiated actions to end fond leakages, wavering and ineffectual administrative command and allegiance that etherto compromise effective management of human and material resources available to the university. Our school has been one of the best. I know a lot of my friends that are still doing or struggling to finish their own, but here I am almost done with everything and then being my clearance. So I think his impression about our school so far is a very wonderful one. If you look around, you can equally find out that who has a great development ever since he became the Vice Chancellor, which all of us are proud of him. My name is Ekman Chavis and I'm um, 200 left from Faculty of Homeschool Sciences. So I entered this school because actually they don't go on strike and I like the environment, it's a cool environment to study. And then coming to the strike aspect, they don't go on strike, which makes the education faster. Some schools are, have been on strike and then those that entered school would have not gone as far as I've gone now. Chancellor prudently applied his good offices in negotiating reactivation of access to funds for the multiple TED fund projects that had suffered abandonment in the university. He built the Animal House and established the innovative Medical Plants Garden for pharmaceutical studies. 
He completed the procurement and installation of some equipment in the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science. He equally built the Block B in the Faculty of Education Complex with the Tech Fund 2018 Zonal Intervention Fund. He completed the Faculty of Agriculture Building and the procurement and installation of some crucial equipment in the faculty. He built an oil mill in response to the huge oil palm endowment in the university environment. The project was executed through Tech Fund Entrepreneurship 2016 to 2019 Merge Intervention Schedule. He has done everything differently. And uh, since he came, we've not had it uh, this good. He came, he changed everything mathematically. Where do I start? Two numerals to mention. To talk about academic standards, he has raised the bar. At least all our programs now, they all have full accreditation. Unlike the course, they will have one, either one program or the other. In fact, as we speak, our university is the second best state university in Nigeria. That is the NUC ranking, not to come to Odubu University, but NUC ranking, second best in the whole of the nation. And I think we have to give credit to who made it possible. If there's anything like 120%, I'll score him 120%. Sometimes I, I, I pity him because students will always call at any time of the day. Whoever that will take over from him should start from where he stopped. Before he came, our salaries are not paid as at when due. Our December salary sometimes are paid in October. But now, even our December salaries are paid. In fact, last Christmas, he paid on, uh, on, uh, on uh, 24th. December. Apart from the Christmas uh, productivity bonus he, he gave to every staff, both rice and the ground, that was one way of appreciating the staff, at least for keeping faith throughout the building. Eight months, other investors were on strike. Our promotions now, as has went to, if I do promotion, you promoted. No discrimination. If it is possible, we wish that the state government will renew his demo. He started and completed the Faculty of Social Sciences and Faculty of Arts Complexes, scheduled as TED Fund 2016 to 2019 projects. Professor Owakobi has given strong physical presence to the Faculty of Health Sciences and Technology by building the Department of Medical Laboratory Science and Department of Nursing Sciences and other imposing structures almost completed as 2019 Special Intervention merged Annual Intervention. He did the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences through TED Fund 2016 to 2019 merged Annual Intervention. The ongoing construction of the Faculty of Management Sciences, which is in advanced stage, and the ongoing makeover of the School of Postgraduate Studies, part of the tale of impressive infrastructural uplift on campus effected by the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Greg Mwakobi. Professor Mwakobi's recognition of the role of ICT in education is demonstrated in the administration's efforts in providing computers and other relevant equipment to preserve in departments in the university, the e-library facilities in the Faculty of Law, Library, the University Library exemplifies such efforts. The interventions in the libraries were achieved through the Tech Fund 2015 to 2018 merged intervention. The outstanding upgrade of facilities and efficiency of the University Medical Center evidently adds to Professor Huacobi's considered interest in the wellness of the students and staff of the university. Professor Greg Chukwudi Huacobi. Is the best thing that has happened to this um, university. He joined the university in March 2018 as the vice chancellor of this um, great institution. And since he came in, it has been a tremendous development in terms of academic quality, in terms of discipline, and in terms of infrastructural development. Because Craig Makobi has really taken this university to a greater height. I know that when he came in, we were blacklisted by the NUC, but when he joined, he settled all those matters, understanding matters we have with that, that fund. And through that, he was able to complete faculty of engineering, complete faculty of agriculture, complete faculty of pharmaceutical sciences, complete faculty of um, health sciences, faculty of basic medicine, faculty of arts, faculty of social sciences. 
all these regions have been handed over to, their, to the various uh, end users. Then in terms of other, other work like in the campus, we renovated the, exam, like the exams and record units, we renovated the, um, the bursary units, currently, currently work is going on in the, in the revenue unit. It's now completing the perimeter fencing, which is nearing, nearing completion. It's about drilling a borehole at the 34th of the auditorium. You know, a lot of things he has done. He empowered our, our anti court units. Right now, we have almost zero um, cases of um, courtism. Then, uploading of results. Every, our, our result is now online. The payment of school fees, he, he, he made sure that there's checks and balances. The student pays school fees as at when due, and have not missed any academic calendar. Currently, we are now in 2023-2024 academic session, and we are one of the universities in Nigeria that is currently in 2023-2024 academic session. If you go to Ibuari, he landscaped the admin block and has been doing a lot, maintaining infrastructures in the university, academic discipline, administrative discipline. There's no reckless use of money now. Every COBO we must pay through the, through the university account. And money are being judiciously dispensed. There's a lot of transparency and accountability in his, in his administration. The Department of Geology has won, won a lot of, um, a lot of um, awards being organized by, by NAPE, Nigeria Association of Petroleum Explorationists. Faculty of Engineering, they've won a lot, a lot of um, laureates. Even in terms of our academic staff, and many of our academic staff have really done well. I can't, I, can't, I can't call their names because they are many. And the recent ranking by NUC, we are the second best state university. So in terms of ranking, we are the top. He comports himself well, he's very transparent, and he presents issue in a way that you understand it because he has nothing to hide. That's why we are, happy. We are getting um, support from the state government and the, the staff and students are cooperating with him. So anything he tells us, we, we, we will see the, the advantage of following what he said. And that's why there, there's, no, no, there's no problem, everything is moving on smoothly. He has done a lot, I can't, I, I can't say, is it the renovation of the uh, Department of Geology? Very soon will be removed a lot of things. Department of Industrial Physics has been removed. Department of Computer Sciences has been removed. Here in Uri Campus, before it was, it was under a rusty zinc. Maintenance of existing structures. That is why you see that parents are now eager to send their, to, to send their children to Chukwemeko University. Because you are sure that when, you are, when, when your child is being admitted, it is a four-year program, you will graduate with two If it is a five-year program, you will graduate with two years. And with all his efforts, even the Nigeria Medical and Data Association has increased our quota from 50 to 120. These are his achievements. The same thing with Pharmaceutical um, Asso Association. They've all increased our, our quota. Because when they come, they see the facilities on ground, they see the quality of staff on ground, they see the infrastructure, they see the, the buildings. Why would they grant us to carry on with our business? During the last accreditation, we presented over 22 programs for accreditation. And you see, and we got full accreditation in 21 programs with only one entering. All these things was achieved under the administration of Professor Greg Wakobi. My wish for Professor Greg Wakobi is that as he's leaving this university, that he's going to get the, another level to get a higher appointment. The remarkable renovation at the Uli campus of the university is a major contribution to creating an enabling environment for academic prosperity in the university. Some of the vice chancellor's physical interventions at Uli campus include the re-roofing and total renovation of the Department of Computer Science and Industrial Physics buildings, renovation of the Bossery block, examinations and records block, revenue block, drilling of a borehole at the Tetfond Auditorium. He also fenced part of the works unit and is completing the perimeter fence along the University Road, Uli. Professor Uwakob also renovated and tastefully equipped the Senate chambers in the Uli campus. True to his culture of prudence, 
the Vice Chancellor judiciously deployed the Need Assessment Intervention 2019 and 2019 Tech from Zono Intervention for the procurement and installation of office equipment, classroom furniture, and office furniture. In the same vein, he used the Project Maintenance Intervention 2016 to 2019 for the renovation of the 1000 Capacity TED Fund Lecture Auditorium at Iglaria Campus of the University. Greg represents a statement that would say is a generational, if not transgenerational. How do I know? Staff discipline. He came with it right on his tips. In fact, before you tell, before, before you tell, tell him some stories, he looked who is on there and tell him because you know, he had it. Students uh, discipline as well. Then the challenge of insecurity, he came with, I mean, a total turnaround of the security architecture in the university. You can go anywhere on campus, close your eyes, sleep. Greg will tell you something. If it is his or her right, I don't know whether it's because he's a professor of law, make sure he gets to that place. You don't need to see him or phone him. He is a practitioner of what we call the triple helix model of development. Bring government, bring academia, bring industry together. Then they fought civil societies. Then you are, then you are delivering on all fronts almost simultaneously. It will feel like magic when you understand the concept and models of development. That is Professor Greg Kopi. We had uncompleted third fund projects. In many universities in Nigeria, you wouldn't see third fund projects uncompleted or abandoned. That was what Greg met on ground when he came. That building abandoned. Who? Third fund. That one abandoned. And that was like an abattoir, a career limiting move for the university. That one said, until you complete the ones we gave you money for, they have nothing new for you. He mobilized money to start making noise about it. Complete those projects, then call that fund. Come, we are done with the projects. That's why I see more projects now coming to the university. What may need to be done differently is just to keep pushing the ideologies, keep inspiring, keep challenging. Let him not get dismayed or feel old. I mean, the year is almost there at the, at the corner, let me conclude. Mm -hmm. it is that he has created the structure, do you understand? For, for, for easy flow of administration, I want him to sustain that structure so that it will be a continuum of vision. So I've been here since the inception of the School of Postgraduate Studies, you know, and uh, I must tell you we've never had it so good. School of Postgraduate Studies you know, since inception. The most important thing is uh, that he engendered peace on campus and that's the most important thing because uh, when there is no peace there will be no progress. So he came in here and uh, doused the tension at the university. Another thing is the motivation of staff. You know, he tried as much as possible to make sure that at least at the end of the month we have a monthly emolument. And with that, the staff had a very good environment to work. Uh, before we came in, in the School of Postgraduate Studies, spe specifically in 2018, when uh, Michael B. joined us as the Vice Chancellor of the University, the turnout in the PG, School of Postgraduate Studies, was, was very low, an average of about 236 graduates in a, in a year. But now I make bold to tell you that at least by now we graduate up to 1,500 per year. The Vice Chancellor is the best thing that has ever happened to this university. If I were to be the one to appoint a Vice Chancellor, I appoint him the second time. I have stayed a while in the university. And since I've stayed before he came and afterwards, I can count so many things he has done in terms of infrastructural development, even with the little resources we have. Because of the lean resources we have in the university, what he did was to start attracting support or sponsorship from people, private individuals that are high net worth in the, in the states that assisted in the infrastructural development. I wouldn't want to talk about what, that, what he did about that fund. That I believe that every other university has. 
but the individuals he has attracted to the university is a novel thing he has done. Prior to his coming, we never had somebody like His Royal Majesty Onyido, the Igwe of Ogidi, that brought the pharmacy, pharmaceutical department building to us. We never had any previous uh, governor's wife that helped us to build the Department of Economics. We didn't have anybody like uh, Chief Ale Allen Onyema that helped us to build our health sciences and so on and so forth. They are innumerable. I cannot continue counting. If I should continue to list the infrastructural development he brought to the school in terms of um, uh, comparatively to the resources we have, uh, it will be endless. And the first thing the Vice Chancellor did, which we didn't do in the previous administration, is to ensure that the IGR is adequately correct, collected. The IGR I'm talking about is the school fees, because that is the major IGR that we have. And there is this thing we call the Pareto Principle. The Pareto Principle is talking about the 20% of your, your resources or your, your customers that give you about 80% of your deal. So the 20% of, of our idea that gives us more than 90% of our deal is our school fees. So he concentrated on the school fees and ensured that the school fees are adequately collected. So what he did was to say that before you go for any examination, you must have paid your school fees. Prior to now, you can still finish your school without paying school fees. As a result, we had you know, gaps in financing. So since he came, he ensured that these school fees are paid as I went to, which is before examination, you pay your school fees. Then he warned that um, what marvels me is that before he is coming, he used to owe salaries, he used to owe a lot of uh, contractors, but since he came, he cleared all those areas of salaries. He also ensured that um, salaries are paid as I went to. And there has not been any increase in the subvention given to the school. We have increased the staff strength of the university, and meanwhile, staff salaries have also increased because people are getting promotions every now and then. A lot of professors have been elevated, a lot of uh, colleagues have been promoted to deputy bosses, deputy registrars, increases in salaries. And yet, despite all of this, we still ensure that salaries are paid as I went you, and the people that are contractors to the university have also paid. There isn't anybody that we are owing by as of now. Now, if I were to say what he should have done different, I would say he is too kind to a fault to a great extent. A lot of people look at him from a distance and think that he is a very tough person. But when you get closer to him, you now realize that there is nothing you can ask him legitimately that he cannot do. Um, he finds it difficult to say no many times. And if I would call that a weakness, I would say that is a soft part of it. He has helped a lot in the university library. For example, before his arrival, there is nothing like computers in the university. But now, we go to the library, university library. We have 272 computers in the main library. The chairs, he has changed the carriers. 268 uh, sitting capacity, that is what we have in the main library. Then we have a AC, functional AC, and then the painting of the building. He also sponsors the staff in the conferences. He also encourages us to go for workshops. The Vice Chancellor has been very supportive. But the area I was shocked is that he does not interfere. We have a, we have a committee that looks at that one. Once we apply, we want to go for staff training overseas, what we call postdoctoral uh, overseas. Once, the, once you apply, you scale through the committee. He doesn't even look at the names, you just sign. Once the committee says you are qualified, he signs. He's not interested in who you are. So the committee operates under what I could say is full independence. So he has helped us, and in terms of accreditation, the university has lean resources. But I can boast and tell you that virtually all accreditation programs is under, under Prof. Maku. We went all through. I will advise him to remain ever supportive the way he has, uh, has always been. Virtually all problems we took to him in the past he has always come to our aid to solve the problems. Beyond him, I will want the next Vice Chancellor that will come after him to also uh, borrow a leaf from the way he has worked with the unit to try to support the unit. And like in some universities, you see the Vice Chancellor having an interest 
in who attends a conference, in who goes for staff training, in other words, in who uh, benefits from that fund. So I want the next person that will come to also allow the debt fund committee to work. Professor Chukwu Dewakubi is a godsend to the university and to my faculty in particular. The faculty has a complex, very big complex that has 17 offices for the professors. He also attracted a building for the Department of Economics, a one-story building that has four classrooms, very large classrooms, and then eight uh, staff offices. Before his arrival, there were a lot of crises. Petitions, lecturers writing petitions against each other. But these days, due to his capacity and uh, competence, and as a trained lawyer, calmed the situation. The vice chancellor stemmed the administrative lapse that allowed a good number of students evade payment of tuition fees. He digitized all payments to the university, allowing only online payments to a dedicated and optimally protected university account. Beyond this, he instituted a policy of no payment, no examination, as a way of ensuring that the university does not lose valuable revenue to defaulting students. He institutionalized property and accountability by adopting unfettered online transactions in students' registrations, payments, uploading of results, and other activities about the university that the public might need. Hence, most relevant information about the university, including finances, is accessible to inquirers. Being a stickler for fair play and excellence, the Vice Chancellor put structures in place to ensure payment of salaries to the university staff. He insists that for the staff to be paid, they should deliver the services for which they were engaged by the university. Hence, lecturers who do not comply with the timeline for script marking and submission of results get their salary suspended. He demands discipline from both the students and staff, demonstrable, for instance, in the statute for 75% minimum attendance of lectures by students and firm sanctions of those who default. He takes no prisoners. He has been able to motivate the, the university into the formulation and um, delivery of the vision and strategy of the institution called the university. His administrative acumen is efficient. This is a man who, like my other you know, colleagues have said, he ensured the early and quick delivery of results. After exams, policy has been made that scripts must be marked within so and so period and results released. That's an administrative ability. Ability to make people to mark exam scripts and submit as and when due is an ability that should be, you know, praised. You know, when I came to this university, we were not our salaries were not coming as early as they are coming now. You know, as I'm telling you now, between today now and maybe tomorrow. <laughs> you know, so this is the ability, this is, you know, science of administrative ability. He cannot continue to stay in a place. He has to, you know, go to an higher heights. So I've been in this university for upwards of 16 years. I've seen quite a number of vice chancellors. And uh, the man, Professor Greg Makobi, is quite an excellent, decent person. He has done his bit, still doing. And those of us who have been around for quite some time can tell that he has done excellently well. He has raised the bar, as anybody would say. In fact, whoever that is envying his job, I bet you it won't be easy for such a person because the bar is raised and it's at the peak. You can only be at your best to succeed him without having uh, troubles. And so, so far it's been a, a wonderful time having him in this university and I believe he came at the time we needed him the most. So I've been able to serve about two or three vice chancellors and his own is the best among them in terms of development, both human and infrastructure in all ramifications. Yes, but before now, we know our admission quota, you know, we will not be having so much candidates and you know, people applying for our university are very few. But now our university is highly subscribed, both within Anambra and outside Anambra. You see here, you see people from different states, Kogi states, 
Le Lagos, any, any part of this country, you see them here, schooling at Chukwemeko Nungo University because of the kind of quality of teaching and the learning environment that she has been able to provide for the university. He has marvelously done well. The areas of uh, uninterrupted academic session. Since he has zoomed duty up to now, as we are talking, we had smooth academic session. You know, when you don't publish, you perish. And his administrative style encouraged everybody to do research, teach. Quality assurance is being implemented in my faculty. My practice is highly shaped in this institution so that our products can compete with others. If you see our students, when you look at them, you see the other role models, both in appearance, in the same dressing, zero tolerance in our faculty. I said that he set positive standard that the followers are supposed to emulate. I am praying that the standard that he set, that a good successor will just fill in the gap. Any money that, uh, com that has come into the university has actually been judiciously applied. They were all applied to the projects for which they were meant for. We used to borrow. But then since he came, we have not borrowed uh, any fund. And that is as a result of all these uh, measures that have been put uh, in place. And uh, like now, our students pay their school fees. He has done so well. He has done marvelously well. In fact, if I'm asked to score him, I will give him 95%. For us here in the College of Medicine, uh, it is during his administration that cultism was completely alienated in the College of Medicine. We had one incident about uh, six years or seven years ago. But since he has zoomed duty, there is no issue of cultism again in the College of Medicine. Since he has zoomed duty, our quota has been increased from 50 to 120. How he did it provided us with a lot of things, ranging from lecturers that were not available, equipment, ranging from reagents, air condition, offices, all that he needed for us to go for this for the accreditation was provided. Our medical students have come on two competitions. In the first one they came second, in the last one they came first. There are competitions among the medical students in Nigeria. They have participated twice, and these things happened under his uh, administration. I give him kudos to that. Professor Gugu Adewakobi has been doing very well. His leadership style is very perfect and excellent. In terms of infrastructure, he has been doing very well. It is during his tenure that the first medium of conference of accountancy generated the research center in the faculty, which was handed over to the Department of Accountancy. And it is because of his transparency and good leadership that this one was achieved. Then in terms of salary, he used to pay the salary as and when due. You know that when you pay your workers as and when due, it will contribute a lot of things to the university, even to the students. It will avoid the issue of sorting, saying of un unauthorized textbook, to the students. So during his time, he tried and did very well. Professor Wakobi is quick in rewarding merits. He grants the workers opportunities to sharpen their knowledge and skills through workshops, seminars, conferences, and other elaborate training and retraining schemes in and outside the country. He does not hesitate to promote whosoever is deserving of it, as he sees such act as a prime incentive for staff's dedication to work. I would say that um, his coming to university is a big blessing in terms of the welfare of the staff, both academic and non-academic members of staff. Uh, in the sense that since his arrival, the salary has been paid as when due, and that is the most important thing for any person that is a worker. And uh, another aspect that is very interesting is his welfare in terms of promotion of members of staff. You know, when he came around, uh, it was a uh, few months before his arrival, that's when I was employed. And so there's this story of people being sat upon in terms of their promotions. But when he came, it was like, let my people go. Everybody was having his due meritoriously. So that's a very big kudos to the man in terms of achievement and to all the members of staff, a very good development. As, uh, that this room he gave for the students to always have a kind of interface with him. 
so that people have access and it has information on what is happening and then from there being able to pilot their face of university very well. So that's a very good way of leading university, which is a big credit to him. Well, for now, I think he's meeting, hitting the mark. So maybe the next thing we'll do, maybe look for a way to increment of the welfare in terms of salaries and maybe other incentives. But for now, I think he's doing his best and his best is good enough. He approached the worrisome insecurity of campus, which put paid to the activities of cultists on campus. He was able to do this by persuading cultists to repent and repudiate all trappings of cultism. While those who complied were assured of protection, others who did not were duly reined in. The success he made of this is the reason why there is peace on Uli and Ibarian campuses of the university as well as smooth flow of academic activities. It's worthy of note that Professor Oakobi's death approach to the politics of university administration in Nigeria has enabled him to safely navigate round union eruptions that have disrupted the academic calendars of most universities nationwide. People who knows this university before the coming of the Awabash Chancellor will tell you how the hostel looks like. When you go to the hostel, you see, you see the differences, not the only different, great differences. Before, people don't live in that hostel. But since Prof. Wakobi came into this university as uh, the Vice Chancellor, they have never taken off his hand from rehabilitating the hostel. Today, young uh, students, they like living in the hostel than living outside the, the campus. Let's say uh, sports activities or other social activities is very supportive for the students. You know, sometimes the students will tell you that he uh, doesn't behave like a uh, uh, Vice Chancellor because he will come down to their aides. He come to the field where we are playing football. He will be there asking the student, what do you want? Hope this one is moving well. Hope this is happening this way. Uh, we have a lot of courtists in this university, but his first month in the office, he called all the students and uh, he pleaded with them. Any one of them that is a member of court should come out that he will support the individual. A lot of them denounced courtism. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Greg Wakubi, has done a lot in terms of infrastructural development in the university. He came into the university at a time when the university was what I would call a kind of partner in the sense that most of our funding that usually came from platform we are blocked. We weren't able to assist them. The Vice Chancellor had put in a lot of energy in ensuring that these projects were secured and their money is no longer lost. Because that fund doesn't look at your face. Once the time goes, they just take back the money. But now, this also has done well in the area of enviro envir environment, environmental upliftment. Like if you were here, before the time he came, this admin block, you may not be able to enter when, once it rained. But we were able to do the landscaping and uh, uplifted the environment. Chukwemeka Odumegu Ujuku University under Professor Unwakobi enjoys uninterrupted academic calendar that allows a timely completion of the academic curricula for the departments, faculties and schools. The Vice-Chancellor's pragmatic bent on the university growth has earned the institution increased academic programs duly accredited by the National Universities Commission, NUC, a body that serves as the quality controller of academic activities in Nigerian universities. Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku University now runs more courses than ever before, all duly accredited by the regulatory body. He has excellent nature of a leader. He engages in teamwork. He is innovative and can collaborate. And that's what is required of a good leader. So he has the quality. That's why I always use the acronym ETIC to describe him. He has done so well. Where others feel he has self. In terms of welfare, he is there and he has been very supportive and has been doing wonderfully well. The state university that's highly sourced. Many people, people from all over, wants to be in this university because of what? We don't go on strike. That's his dogged nature. It's not easy, but that's went on strike. We are here. The University Medical Center used to be a four-bedded clinic before the tenure of uh, Professor Wakobi. And when Professor Wakobi started, 
and visited and saw that the state of the University Medical Center wasn't what it's meant to be. So he now made great and giant efforts to make sure that the project that was already in progress in building a new medical center, he made sure that the project was done very fast and within a space of a year and a half, we entered the medical center, the new medical center. And that was in August 2020, precisely about two years into his tenure. And there we have the 20 bedded medical center. Uh, since his tenure, he has really funded the medical center. He has upgraded it and we now work in an enabling environment. Even the students, they enjoy their stay when they come there for treatment. So I would rather say that he has done so much in terms of the uh, medical facility of the university. Apart from courses newly introduced and accredited, the university has been granted remarkable increase in students' admission. This is a clear demonstration of the university's growing capacity under the watch of Professor Greg Mwakovi. Little wonder the increasing national and international laurels that the university and our students have continued to hold under the indefatigable leadership of Vice Chancellor Professor Greg Mwakobi. These conduce to the current deserved certification of Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku University as the second best state owned university in Nigeria by the National Universities Commission. For all these and more, Chukwemeka Udumegu Ujuku University community and close watchers of the institution freely congregate in expressing kind sentiments for Professor Greg Mwakobi and appreciating him for the uncommon energies he deployed in writing the name of the university in gold. They celebrate his touch of excellence across every aspect of the university. They hold that posterity will be kind in reporting Professor Greg Owakobi's headship of a statutory five-year single term as the Vice-Chancellor of Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku University. He's a wonderful person. Not only just a wonderful person, he's someone that accommodates and he's someone that goes by the rule of the game. He's a lawyer. He knows everything more than what you know. If he comes to you, he's answering your question and he's answering you his own question. What I mean is he's always ready and he's always focused as far as this university is concerned. He raised the status of the faculty to the extent that we now compete with some universities of 30, 40, 50 years, 80 years. So he has raised the status of the faculty. He employed lecturers to assist. We are praying that if it is possible, just like Jesus Christ said, my God, if it is possible, remove this cup. Honestly speaking, we, are, we don't know but we are praying to God to have somebody who has the same focus and the same commitment for this faculty. Do you know that he built, he attracted the building of faculty of arts that has not existed? That is so surprised at the growth development of the university, especially the faculty. May God guide him. May God bless him and multiply his blessings. And may the, whoever is coming back are coming to this place. May that person emulate or take the footprint of the President Vice Chancellor. He has done well.